Hi guys, this is me Komdi Thakur and welcome back to my channel English.com. In today's video, we are going to learn about the direct and indirect speech and their conversion from one form to another. Direct speech is when we quote the actual words of the speaker. And indirect speech is when we do not quote the actual words but we refer to the words spoken by the speaker. For example, Aman said, I am very busy now. This is the direct form. And the indirect form is... Aman said that he was very busy then. We can note that in direct speech, for marking the exact words of the speaker, we always use the inverted commas. And some more changes we can observe is that in indirect speech, we use the conjunction that. Then the pronoun I is changed to he. Then the verb am is changed to was. And then the adverb now is changed to then. Now, the rules for the conversion of direct to indirect speech. First is that we should note that when the principal verb is in past tense, all the present tense of the direct are converted to their corresponding past tense. For example, a simple present tense gets converted to a simple past. For example, he said, I am unwell. This is the direct form. And it gets converted to, he said that he was unwell. Which is, the simple present gets converted to simple past. Then we have the present continuous which gets converted to the past continuous. For example, she said, my mother is cooking. This is the direct form. And in the indirect form we have, she said that her mother was cooking. So the present continuous gets converted to past continuous. Then we have the present perfect gets converted to past perfect. For example, he said, I have passed the examination. And this gets converted to he said that he had passed the examination. So here the present perfect have passed gets converted to past perfect that is had passed. The tenses may not change if the statement is a universal truth. For example, the teacher said the sun rises in the east. This is the direct form. In the indirect form we have the teacher said that the sun rises in the east. So we can see that since this is a universal truth the tense does not change. Then we have, if the statement is still relevant, then we can choose to change or not change the tense. For example, I know her address, said Rita. This is the direct form. In the indirect form we have, Rita said that she, we can use both, she knows her address or she knew her address. The next rule is that, if the tense of the reporting verb is present tense, then while converting direct to indirect form, the tense does not change. For example, he says, I am unwell. This is the direct form. And in the indirect form we have, he says that he is unwell. So we can see that the tense does not change. Similarly, he says, I have passed the examination. In the indirect form we have, he says that he has passed the examination. So in this sentence also, we can see that the tense does not change. Then we have the pronouns in the direct speech are changed wherever necessary so that they can relate more to the hearer or the reporter than they relate to the original speaker. For example, he said to me, I don't believe you. This in the indirect form becomes, he said he didn't believe me. So the pronouns are changed as such the meaning does not deter. Then we have, she said to him, I don't believe you. She said she didn't believe him. Similarly, we have, I said to him, I don't believe you, which gets converted to I said I didn't believe him. So we can see that the tense changes as per the rules I already discussed. But the main aim is to not alter the meaning. Then we have I said to you I don't believe you. This gets converted to I said I didn't believe you. We have some words which take these words in their indirect form. For example now becomes then, here becomes there, ago becomes before. Then we have thus, which becomes so, today becomes that day, tomorrow becomes the next day, yesterday becomes the previous day, last night becomes the night before, etc. For example, we have the direct form like, he said, I am glad to be here this evening. And the indirect form of this is, he said that he was glad to be there that evening. While reporting interrogative sentences, we introduce words like inquired or asked in the indirect form. For example, he said to me, what are you doing? In the indirect form we have, he asked me what I was doing. Similarly, 
Where do you live? asked the stranger. In the entire form we have, the stranger inquired where I lived. One more point to be noted is that when the sentences are not introduced by an interrogative word, what is an interrogative word? Words like which, where, how, when, why, these are interrogative words. But in this sentence, he said, will you listen to such a man? Will is not an interrogative word. And hence in the indirect form, we introduce words like whether or if. That is, he asked whether they would listen to such a man. While referring to commands and requests in direct form, some commanding and requesting verbs is introduced in the indirect form. For example, John said to Sam, go away. In the indirect form we have, John ordered Sam to go away. Then we have, he said to me, please wait till I return. Which becomes, he requested me to wait till he returned. At last we have, call the witness, said the judge. Which becomes, the judge commanded them to call the witness. So, we see the mood and tone of the direct form and then accordingly we convert it to indirect form. While reporting some exclamatory words or wishes, the verbs which have exclamation are used in the indirect form. For example, Alice said, how clever I am, which becomes, Alice exclaimed that she was very clever. Similarly, we have, he said, bravo, you have done well. Which becomes, he applauded him saying that he had done well. So now I hope you have understood the concept of direct and indirect speech. And if so, I have a small exercise for you given in the description box below. There you have to convert the direct into indirect form and vice versa. And write to me in the comment section below. And if you found this video informative, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel English.com. Thank you.